Hello everyone and welcome back again to on our channel. My name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment as well as messages on my Instagram. And if you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to do product research on Alibaba Dropshipping Center. And yes, you heard that right. Not AliExpress Dropshipping Center, but actually Alibaba Dropshipping Center because they did launch their Dropshipping Center lately. And in my next video, I will show you how to use it or link it with Shopify and add products and customize them and all of that as well as fulfillment for orders. So if you are interested in that, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you are watching it more than a week ago after it was posted, then just check out my channel. You will already find that video. So if you are wondering why you should use Alibaba instead of AliExpress, well, there is a lot of reasons for that. And most importantly is the price. So the price is much cheaper on Alibaba than AliExpress. And not just the price for the product, as well as the price for the shipping. So the shipping on AliExpress will be much expensive than Alibaba with the same options, obviously. And I don't know why is that. For example, uh, DHL shipping will cost more on AliExpress than Alibaba. And I'm not sure why is that, but that's the case. But there is actually one downside to using it for dropshipping, which is a lower number of products for dropshipping because Alibaba tend to be more for people that are using the wholesale business model. They do buy a lot of products, more than a hundred piece for a single product and they do resell them on Amazon or any shopping website. But for those sellers that do sell the wholesale mechanism, they do not offer the same products for dropshippers. Because for dropshippers, they would need to sell the product by the unit, which is the opposite to the wholesale business model. So some products you might find on AliExpress for dropshipping, you might not find them on Alibaba. But I think this problem will not be for long because I think they are adding more products to the dropshipping center right now. So in a couple of months, you will find most of the products on AliExpress, you will find them on Alibaba as well for the dropshipping center. And I have a couple of bonus tips for you in this video. And uh, just like how to download the video from Alibaba because you cannot download it by simply right clicking and save the video as it will save it as a web page, not a video. So I will show you how to download the video as well. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. So in order to access Alibaba dropshipping center, all you need to do is click in URL and type in dropshipping.alibaba.com just like you see on the screen right now and I will also put the link for it in the description box and after you did access it you should be greeted with this welcome to dropshipping center and an explainer video and there is nothing actually really useful in here just a video why you should use dropshipping center on Alibaba so just close this message and after that you should see a search bar with a message below it says hot selling products with a competitive price if you do see this bar right here make sure to open it in new tab because it will show you some hot selling products and below it you should see local us stock which is the products that's available in us warehouses and below it as well you will see products from future suppliers however do not pay any attention to this because this is basically for sponsored suppliers Anyway, so products below $10 in here and below it you will see a lot of products and there is also a category in here so you can click on it and filter out the products by the category if you are doing dropshipping in a particular niche. However, I do recommend you to use the search bar instead. So before we use the search bar, the things you should keep in mind or the things you look out for when doing product research is the processing time because the processing time for some products here is pretty long and I don't know why is that. For example, this one right here. The processing time for this product is between one and 15 days, which is a lot. And if you are wondering why it varies from a product to another, it's because the processing time is based on the supplier, not on Alibaba platform. So not every supplier processes the order faster. So keep this in mind. So make sure to check out the processing time because it's really important. Otherwise your order will stuck like for 15 days just processing without even starting to ship the product. So that's not good. And to check out the future product from here, uh, based on where you're doing dropshipping here, make sure to pick ship to right here and go for a country which is like United States, for example, and it will reload this and it will show your products with the shipping time or processing time for the US. And they just use the search bar real quick. So for example, I saw a product that's really good, just 
couple of hours ago, which is the scale spoon. It's basically a spoon with a scale on it for kitchen, which is really good. So let's just search for it and see if we will find it on Alibaba dropshipping center. And we will do demonstration on it and see if we can find some video or not. And here it is, we did find some of them. And by the way, if you did see this icon right here, it says ver verified. This is basically means that the supplier has been verified by Alibaba. And this will give you guarantee for the product. So for example, if the product was damaged or something like that, they will refund you or send you a replaced product. And just close to it, you will see an icon in here from messages and the hours. So basically it takes them less than four hours to reply to your message because you can contact them directly. And I mean supplier, not Alibaba. So let's just open up this product in here. So after you did open up the product, you will see the price per the unit, which is in this case is $2. And the lead time, which means the processing time for the order is seven days, which is a lot actually. Is it showing here seven days? between one and seven days. I don't know why it's here showing only seven days, but you can actually contact the supplier, which is this one right here directly and make sure to get the exact time as well as ask for a faster processing time for your orders. And the shipping for United States is $8.3 and for United States, obviously. However, you can click on change option and you can change the shipping to a different service. However, it does not load now. Let's just re-click on it. Okay, here it is. So you can click on more in here it will show you more options with faster shipping. And the fastest one, which is right here, UPS Saver, and it costs $28, actually, it's pretty expensive. However, keep in mind that each product has a different options for shipping. So it's not like every product you will find the same options. Sometimes you will find some really fast shipping just by the regular price or the standard price. You don't have to pay for a premium shipping in order to get faster ones. And if you can see the message here, it says compensation for delayed delivery. So if you get delayed delivery, you can actually get refunded or a replaced product, which is really good. And this is actually just from uh, verified suppliers. So if the supplier is not verified, you will not get this option right here. So keep this in mind as well. And below you will see a really long description for the products as you can see with a lot of pictures and every variation and so on. Uh, sometimes you can find videos. However, this product doesn't seem to have a video. Let me get back and find a product with a video to show you how to download the videos from Alibaba or just Alibaba dropshipping center because it's the same actually. So let's just find some product from here. So here is, I did find a product with a video on it, as you can see. So to download this video, as I said, you cannot just right click and save page as you will save it as a web page. In order to download it, uh, by the way, I'm using Safari browser. However, I will do for both Safari as well as Chrome. But first, let me do it for Safari first. So just right click on the page and click on inspect right here. And it will show you this page at the bottom page and click on this icon right here and simply head over to the video itself like this and click on it. And it will highlight a link here. As you can see a blue link, simply right click, open a new tab. And here is the video. Right now, you can do right click and download the video, download video ads. And right now, let me show you how to do this in Chrome browser because I know everyone now use Chrome. So let's just copy the link for it and hold on one second to open Chrome. So here I am on Chrome browser and this is the same product in the video as well. So in order to download this video from Chrome, the first thing you're going to do is simply right click and same open, click on inspect. And after that, you will see this page will show up right here. And the next thing you're going to do, hit over to the network tab right here click on it and simply reload the page. And after that, the video will start automatically playing. As you can see, you can head over to this media tab right here. It says media, simply click on it and it will show you two files in here. And pick the one that's bigger. As you can see, it says size here, uh, three megabytes. So simply let's just open this one in a new tab. And here is the video as you can see. So you can simply click on the three dots at the bottom right corner and you will see download option or simply right click and save video as as you can see so that's how you use product research on alibaba dropshipping center and as i said in my next video i will show you how to link it with your shopify store and how to add products import them with the pictures and description and as well as fulfillment of orders and so on so if you are interested in that video make sure to subscribe to my channel and and if you are watching more than a week after this video was posted just check out the channel and you will find it already posted and as i said in the beginning of this video if you have any questions or any video requests 
make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment as well as messages on my Instagram. And if you are wondering again why is that? Because simply I'm working for you. Otherwise, I think my job is done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.